All right, guys, welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. This one's definitely going to be a really short one. And also, just want to say quickly, I kind of got this from Peef, and I'll link his YouTube in the description, so you guys should go check him out. And anyway, let's get right into it. So first, you want to drag into Adjustment Clip, drag on an Adjustment Clip, and make it about 13 to 14 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Oh, I mean, overcounted. Uh, 17, 16, 15, 14, right there. Like that. And then, what you want to do, you want to drag in S underscore shape. S underscore blur mode curves. Um, right there. And now I'm going to use BCC contrast, but you could also use a uh, HUSAP bright or anything like that. Actually, I'll just use HUSAP bright. Why not? So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your blur mode curves change it to one here on the first frame go to the second frame then change it to 0.9 and then the last one change it back to one like this uh, okay and for the shake I'm gonna go uh, put in the settings and I'll be back in a second and just copy the settings alright guys so uh, just copy these settings I'll just scroll down You can pause the video also if you want. And yeah. So you want a keyframe on the first frame, the second, oops, the second, and then the last. So on the first one you want to go to zero, and on the last one you want to go to zero. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to go to S underscore HUSAP, right? Keyframe the brightness on the first, or the first frame, like the next frame, then the last one again. And on the second frame, you want to change it up to, I think 1.3 is good. Let's watch it. It's not synced up. Yeah, and that's really going to be it. The next thing... Well, the thing you just want to do, already mark the beats one frame before the actual beat. But you need to do that and put it like, because you see the brightness is on one. The shake doesn't start until the second frame. Oh, it's supposed to, yeah. That doesn't start until the second frame. So you want to have the beat on the second frame, kind of. I already marked it that one before. So it look like this. On the beat. Control C. And then, yeah. Then I'm just going to add my impact on the kill. That's going to be it for the tutorial. I know this is a short one, but it should be helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.